1086 divided by 60 is equal to um, 2, so what's up guys 3143 so for this video we're gonna have the the mean for uh, group data in a measure of salary tendency so first how do we uh, find the mean for uh, group data uh, by the way there are two methods in in uh, finding the mean for uh, group data the first one is using the uh, midpoint method and the second one is the uh, uh, using the unit deviation method okay so the first one how do you find the mean using the midpoint method okay so use the formula so the formula is uh, mean is equal to sum of the product of the frequencies and midpoints all over the total number of values or mean is equal to summation of f uh, times m all over n whereas the uh, we have the summation symbol then f is the uh, the frequency and the m is the uh, midpoint and n is the total number of values okay so we're gonna find the midpoint first so midpoint so assume um, we have m okay so mid how do you find the midpoint uh, the lower uh, the lower limit 27 okay the first class plus 29 and then divided by 2 okay then so 28 plus 29 divided by 2 is equal to uh, 27 plus 29 all over 2 or divided by 2 is equal to 28 okay then um, the next one uh, 24 so 24 uh, plus 26 24 plus 26 divided by 2 is equal to 25. Okay, so 25. Then 21. Uh, 21 plus 23 divided by 2 is 22. Then 18 plus 20 divided by 2 is 19. 15 plus 17 divided by 2 is equal to 16. Uh, 12 plus 14 divided by 2 is equal to uh, 13. 9 plus 11 divided by 2 is equal to 10. And the last one, 6 plus um, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So again, uh, just add the uh, lower limit plus upper limit then all over 2 or divided by 2. Okay, so next is the product of the frequencies and the midpoint or FM, F times M, frequency times the midpoint. So 3 times uh, 28 is equal to 84, then 5 times 25 is 125, um, 12 times uh, 22 is equal to 264, then... Uh, 15 times 19 is equal to 285 then um, 10 times 16 is equal to 160 8 times 13 is equal to 104 then 5 times 10 we have 50 then 2 times 7 is equal to 40 okay then um, yeah, add natin ito. Just add the product of the uh, frequency and the midpoint. So, summation or, yeah, summation of FM 
is equal to just add this this would be 1086 then add also the total frequencies with the number of values uh, total number of values we have 3 plus 5 12 15 um, plus 10 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 60 okay then so we check the formulas we have this is the formula the mean x bar is equal to summation of fm all over n okay the subject the values we have we know that the summation of frequency the product of midpoint is equal to 1086 okay then all over the total number of values is 60 okay then 1086 divided by 60 is equal to um, 18 okay so again 1086 divided by 60 would be 18 okay so therefore our mean is 18 okay so our next uh our next uh, method in finding the mean for group data is what we call the unit deviation method. Okay, so use, use the formula uh, mean or x bar is equal to x sub a plus quantity summation of f d all over n times i. Whereas the uh, the the x sub a or x bar sub a is the assumed mean that is the midpoint of the class claimed as origin and assigned with zero deviation okay so then um, f whereas the f is the absolute frequency per class and d is the class deviation by unit and n is or n is the total number of values and i is the interval size okay so just use that formula okay so we have here an example um find the mean for group data of this using the unit deviation method okay so assuming uh assume we're gonna uh, start here the higher frequency this one so this is the uh, the d the deviation okay so we're gonna start here assuming the, the higher uh, frequency so zero becomes zero then but as we have negative one uh, negative two negative three negative four and negative five so, baba naman, we have positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Okay, then, um, we're gonna multiply the, or the product of the frequency in the deviation method. We have FD. Okay, then, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Then, 9 times negative 4 is equal to 36 negative 36 14 times negative 3 is equal to um, negative 42 then 16 times negative 2 is negative 32 uh, then 11 times negative 1 negative 11 then uh, 19 times 0 is 0 then we have uh, 1 times uh, 8 is 8, 3 times 2, we have 6, 5 times 3, then 15. And then, we're gonna multiply this. Or, we're gonna add. Okay, so, ito muna tayo sa positive. We have, kung i-add natin ito lahat, maging uh, 8, 29. Okay, so 29. Sa negative naman, 
pag i-add natin yung negative, so we have negative, makakuha tayo ng, it would be, uh, one, negative 146. Okay, then, FD, summation of FD, so i-add natin negative 146 plus, negative 146 plus 29 would be uh, negative negative 117 so negative 117 okay. so then add the frequencies we have um, 90 so 90 lahat ang frequency natin next we're gonna subject the values we have x bar is equal to x bar sub a plus um, quantity summation of fd all over n times the class interval okay so subject the values um, ang x sub bar natin or ang assume mean natin ngayon ay since so hindi natin na ano yung midpoint uh, ito yung magig ang assuming natin kukuha tayo sa midpoint nya so since ito yung kuha natin so anong midpoint nito 45 plus um, 49 divided by 2 is equal to um, 47 so mag ang 47 ngayon na magiging x, sub, uh, x bar sub a 47 plus k then um, yung value ng summation of fd we have uh, summation of d is equal to negative 117 all over 90 sub n. Then, times the interval. Ang interval natin is 5. Kasi, um, 60 um, or 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. Okay, so yun ang interval natin. Then, add natin, we have 47, 47, uh, or i-direct na natin. So, 47 plus, uh, ito, negative uh, 117 uh, divided by 90. 47 plus times negative uh, uh, 117 over or divided by 90 times 5 is equal to um, Tarajan na natin we have x bar or mean is equal to 40.5 um, or 0.50 So ito magiging 40.5